Welcome to Saturday Story Circle from the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Welcome to Kids Just Want to Have Fun. I'm Tim. If you like the podcast, tell your friends and family to listen in. Today, let's find out about some lazy dogs. Now, these are the kind of dogs that stay on the porch while others are chasing squirrels, their own tails, frisbees, or the neighbors. (laughs) Now, if you are afraid that a dog may be too energetic for you and your family, well, don't worry about it. There are a lot of breeds that are lazy that you could end up with or even adopting so they can join your family but not end up being too much of a hassle when it comes to energy levels. Here's our first joke of the day. What kind of dog likes taking a bath daily? A sham poodle. (laughs) Uh, To tell you the truth, all these breeds are not necessarily lazy. They are just not as energetic as other ones. Take the big St. Bernard, for example. They have way smaller energy bursts when you compare it with a teeny tiny Chihuahua. But this doesn't mean that they are not active. It just means they have different needs. Just keep in mind, even if they are thought to be lazy, this doesn't mean that you will not have your hands full of puppy energy for the very first years of their life. To be honest, there is no such thing as a lazy dog, but rather there are breeds that are considered to have low energy compared to others. They don't run around a lot, but love long, leisurely walks and cuddles on the couch anytime. What did the dog say to the flea? Stop bugging me. Let's hear about some low energy breeds. If you are looking for a smaller breed of a dog, that's super adaptable, which means easy to live with, look no further than the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. They generally match their owner's energy level, so if you're not as active as others, they will be content with a decent long walk, a day followed by all the cuddles on the couch. If you are the type that loves to go on adventures and hikes, well, bring them along. They would love to join you, but you should keep in mind that they are not as active as their relatives, the Cocker Spaniel. Plus, they demand a lot of attention and they are easy to train. Next are pugs, which have been everywhere around us from social media posts of those mischievous little dogs to seeing them in pop culture or entertainment media. Not to mention, they have gotten extremely popular with pet owners as well. Now, these cute little pugs are very unique looking and easily recognizable with their pink tongues hanging out. They are known to be very loving, but they also have a different mischievous side to them that comes out when they are being very playful. And despite all this, the pug is actually a low energy breed as they do not need a ton of exercise. Just walk them regularly and make sure to play and keep them entertained. You'll have no problems with these sometimes silly pups with a flat face. You know Scooby-Doo and Marmaduke? They are the largest breed of dogs available, and guess what? They are gentle giants. And they're one of the most laid-back breeds. I'm talking Great Danes. They don't need much exercise as other breeds of their size. As long as they get a good walk in every day, you will have a big couch potato on your hands, on your lap. Like other dogs, they can get goofy and playful so you'll have to be careful with their size. Now, Great Danes will also need quite a lot of space, yet they are known to be amazing with children and other dogs. Who doesn't love the Basset Hounds, these long-eared pups that have charmed us with their antics? And you will be glad to know that they are actually low-energy breed with easy exercise requirements. Basset Hounds are known for being laid back and gentle, and as long as you take them out for a long, calm walk so they can sniff around to their heart's content, you will not have any problems keeping them entertained and energetic. And another thing to remember, 
be careful of their ears because they are so long. You may have heard of Chow Chows with the black tongue. Despite being a rare breed, they are one of the calmest and lowest energy breeds out there. And while this is definitely the case for the unique breed of dog, uh, they may not have a lot of energy, but they make it up in being smart, loyal, and a good watchdog. They can also be very stubborn. Now, Shih Tzus are more popular, especially with elder households and even with families, mostly because they are thought to be a lazy breed. They are not actually lazy. However, they are a very popular low energy breed at times because they get along with everyone. They do well in places with a lot of people and are great with children and even other dogs. You will not have many issues with this dog. Some of the things to keep in mind if you want to get a Shih Tzu, they do not do well in extremely hot weather. Find a cool place for them. Much like the pug, their cousin, they are also a flat-faced breed. When is a black dog not a black dog? When he's a greyhound! <coughs> do you know greyhounds are race dogs? And very surprisingly, they are a low energy breed. Sure, they are quite large dogs and are super fast when they run. But while they are doing all these things, their energy and speed bursts are very short. So if you're looking for a total couch potato pup or a total couch pup potato, then you may just have found one. Greyhounds do well with short daily walks. And as long as they get the zoomies out of them and run a bit in the park, their favorite activity is to snuggle on the couch with their owners. And believe it or not, despite their size, they make great apartment pets because they do just love to curl up and sleep a lot of the time. Just don't leave them alone for long periods of time. They love being around people and leaving them alone the whole day will not do them any good. Also, they have a high prey drive, which means they might not be best in a household with a cat. And you should be careful when you walk or train them so they do not suddenly take off after a squirrel. The easiest way to find a lazy dog or a low energy dog is to adopt a senior dog. You can have a low energy dog, but most of the time you'll have to pick them up from a litter. We all know puppies are generally a lot of work and they are energetic by nature. So you'll have to be there for them all the time, from training them to playing with them and walking them long distances to get their energy levels out. It can sometimes take a lot of time before the puppy reaches adulthood and mellows out. Or you can go to a shelter or adopt a senior dog or just an adult dog, because by this time they would have gotten all their energy out. And if you happen to adopt from a foster family, then the foster family will be able to tell you even more about their activity level. They will also be able to tell you if you are a good match for that particular dog based on their personality and what type of home would be best for them. The senior dogs will love to chill on a sofa, short walks, and the best thing about it is that you and your family would definitely be saving a life. Old dogs end up abandoned in shelters, and by adopting one, you can make their retirement years of life comfortable and full of love. Here's our last joke. Why was everyone shocked that I let my dog drive my car? Because they have never seen a dog park before. <coughs> well, that's it for Kids Just Want to Have Fun. I'm Tim. If you like the podcast, tell your friends and family to listen. Until next time. Remember to smile, because everyone loves them. Good morning. We hope you're enjoying Saturday Story Circle. Get enough cereal? How's the coloring going? You can always join us tomorrow on Mutual with the Sunday Showcase, original audio drama from the United Artists of Audio, right here on Mutual. Subscribe to the full Mutual Audio Network feed for exciting audio drama every day or find the Sunday Showcase feed in your favorite podcast players.
the Mutual Audio Network. Listening and imagining together.